What's up, everybody? It is December 22nd, three days until Christmas. We've got a nine-game slate tonight. A lot of value out there. Um, I think it's going to be a really good night, actually. So a lot of good games, a lot of weird balances. Um, but just in my first look, it looked like there should be a lot of interesting plays tonight. So let's just dive in. First game up, uh, Pistons and Knicks. I've got Pistons favored by five, uh, 105.5 implied total, which would be ninth on the night. Um, I think we want to look. I mean, I think the starters are going to get a chance to get some <clears throat> get some run. Played light minutes in the last one. Stan, Stan Van Gundy not very happy with the performance. <sighs> Who's going to bomb the threes? Probably not Drummond. Okay, Drummond should have a decent game. I mean, what is... <sighs> Cantor does work hard on the glass, at least. Could be a Reggie Bullock game, which is, you know, few and far between. I think we need to look at, man, I thought Tobias Harris shot more threes, but I guess 40% is still pretty, pretty healthy of an amount. Okay, Reggie Jackson, it doesn't really stand out too much to me in this slate. Can't shoot. 5,400, 5,500. It's not one I want. Um, pass on Kennard, not enough minutes. So Stanley Johnson and Reggie Bullock, just over 4,000, each of them on both sites. So we'll say like they need 20 and change. Um, you know, Bullock in the three games without Avery Bradley, two of those games, 28 and 29, that'd be big value. Um, Stanley Johnson's been over 20 in all three games with Avery Bradley out, so... I think both of them are probably in play. Especially in like a GPP, instead of going like a decent chunk of one of them, you can have, you know, 25% of each. They both should get, you know, 25 plus minutes, bomb some threes. Knicks are weak on the wing. I like to treat them as like a two headed monster. Just get a bunch of one of the two. You would think one of the two is going to pop value. Ninth implied total is, you know, no no problem having a, a couple pieces of that. Tobias Harris, 6,500 on FanDuel, 6,000 on DK. He's like 30 and change. I don't see that one. Now Drummond, 45 on FanDuel. For, let's just say 45 in general. Two bummer games with two 50-point games. What's his history like against the Knicks? Not the, what the, who cares? Unless it's just always good. Yeah, I don't... I'd like to like Drummond, but in a nine game slate, like I want it to pop off the page. It, it doesn't. He has not been, like it's, you'd want a little bit of him in a GPP, you know, 10% or so. But I don't, I don't think that it's a terribly great situation for him. Yeah, that was way too much time on the Kings. <laughs> we go to the next. That's, why did I say Kings? Pistons. Need way more coffee. It's way too early. It's rare that I start recording these before it hits seven o'clock. So, dragon ass. Last day before break. Slate tomorrow is crazy. Like Fourteen games or something stupid. And one weird five o'clock start. All right, Knicks. 
100.5 implied total, 16th on the night. Um, you know, it's hard to not like Porzingis on the surface, especially at that salary. <coughs> Porzingis is 9,500 on FanDuel, 8,400 on DK. And you just, like all the injury stuff aside, you just have to look at Porzingis for 8,400 on DraftKings. Let's make this a little bit easier to deal with. It's not so much that, like, I just want this to be a differentiator. I would understand if someone wanted to take Porzingis on FanDuel because he's, he's like, elite. So, you know, at 9,500, he can transcend matchup and, like, the way that he's been playing. But I would only be taking him on DK. So I hope that's you guys understand what that note is trying to say. Um... Yeah, there's just not going to be a lot to like here. They've changed up the rotation a little bit, so everybody's sort of getting mid-20s minutes. I don't... I don't... I think you're forcing it for anything else from the Knicks. So let's go to the Magic. Uh, assumption is still, you know, no Aaron Gordon. Um, no... Uh, no Never Google. I've got Magic, 106.5 implied total, which would be 7th, 5-point underdogs at home. That's probably a little high, but we'll see when that li actual line comes out. In fact, I need to bump that down just a little bit right now. I don't, it, it's just too high. Let's make that 213. better just a little bit better takes the sting off of some of those sharp projections let's grab the magic now could be this could be a decent fantasy matchup just because of the way the value is on uh, orlando oh that's not what i want to do why is that doing that And installed an update, and now like the window doesn't stretch the same way that it did before. It's pissing me off. Okay. So, for Orlando. I think it's Vooch. And... I think I need to look at Alfred Payton and like DJ Augustine. Payton, 6,900 on FanDuel, 5,600 on DK. That is such a trap price. He had a big game in his last time out. You know, Pelicans point guard defense isn't anything. That you have to take Alfred Payton on DK. <laughs> you just kind of have to. I want this column to be thinner. There we go. Because, yeah, that's just, he's 5,600. Like, 6x is 33. Like, hey, that's very feasible. Now, DJ Augustin, 27 minute projection. He's 4,100 on FanDuel, 3,800 on DK. He played 28 minutes in the last game, 30 in the game before that. I mean, that's pretty, he should get pretty close to value. Am I crazy on him? Um, Orlando, Orlando, Orlando. No, that's... I'll probably get too hung up on DJ Augustin. 
Uh, he's fine, though. I think it's a good matchup. Now, who am I kidding? He should not be on my short list. Eh. Should have a little bit of him. Differentiation value. No Mac. I don't see Jonathan Simmons as particularly interesting. I don't see Hazonia as potentially interesting. Just His price is too high now. No thanks on a Wundu or Isaac, but Vooch. 99, let's just say 10,000 and 9,000, which is an interesting distinction. So 10,000, he'll need 50 on FanDuel. Had the step-down game in his last one, but had been 47 or higher in his last five, three games over 50. Um, you know, he will have to deal with Boogie and AD, but it's not as if Boogie is, like, good defensively. So, definitely like Vooch. like him a lot on DK, too. 8,900 is cheap. To the Pels. Uh, you know, AD expected to play. There's been no news on the hand, or wrist, or what you know, whatever he had to have X-rayed. I don't remember if the Magic have any quirks. Yeah, they do. Short mid range. Okay. Um, decent spot for Drew Holiday, and I think. AD is the play over Boogie. I'm gonna. I'm probably not trusting Rondo right now. Minutes have been a little weird. So, let's look at Drew. That's um, 7,800 Fanduel, 7,300 on DK. So, 37 ish. Yeah, he's just been playing really well. Who's gonna? You know, the Magic don't really have the personnel for this, so like Drew, definitely. And then AD, they're, they're both basically the same price on FanDuel, $300 more for um, AD. And then on DK, Cousins is $600 more. So, interesting swap. But yeah, I prefer AD in this matchup. I mean... Even if we just think about it, you know, it's Vooch for Boogie, and it's what, Jonathan Isaac for Anthony Davis? Oh my god, he's going to eat that rook. <laughs> yeah, that that looks great. I'll, I would be very surprised if I didn't have a ton of AD, so he's going to get like a paper cut or something in the second quarter, and I'm going to want to jump off a bridge. To Brooklyn we go. Maybe I'll jump off the Brooklyn Bridge. What a segue. Nets, 103.25 implied total would be 14th. They are hosting the Wizards, and they are five-point underdogs. Um, they're just, you know, not a very good basketball team. So why is that short now? It's so annoying. Okay. Wizards. I'd be okay with Alan Crab. Wizards just are kind of blah defensively. No real, you know, they don't change the league average by more than a couple percentage points, so. Now it's just sort of a salary and minutes game for Brooklyn. Dinwiddie down to 6,400 on DK is pretty interesting. That would be... 6x would be 34. Which, you know, he's done... He's had three 30-plus point games. I think he's a little too expensive on FanDuel. I feel like I'm forcing it though. Levert, 59 and 53. 
So he needs 30 on FanDuel. I'm okay with that. You know, Bradley Beal, I want to say, he rolled his ankle, right? Let me just double check that. Yeah. Tweaked his ankle in the game on Tuesday. So, you know, even if he's 90% fully functional to play, it's just a little bit where, you know, Kyrus LeVert might be able to get a step on him. Alan Crabb, you know, 25 or so. He's been in the 20s in his last two. Eh, I don't trust it. I'm, I'm trying to force too much from this game. Damari Carroll at 4,800 on DK. You kind of have to look at that one. For him, for Damari Carroll to hit 6x... And let's just say he's at 5,000 in salary. That's 30. You know, he's got a 29.9 game, a 28 game, 24 is, you know, still 5x. He can get there. I'm forcing that. Just Levert for me. It's a weird morning. All right, Wizards, 108.75 implied total, which would be fourth. Should have a semi-chunk of this game. I don't remember Brooklyn's profile, but I don't ever remember anybody except for like the Knicks giving up threes. If this weren't the holidays, man, tomorrow would have been a great day for a live before lock. Just a huge slate. Oh boy. All right. We're stacking the Wizards tonight. So least, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So Wall, 9,500 on FanDuel, 8,700 on DK. We'll use now 45, 47 and change we need from Wall. He's been back for four games, hasn't hit a 5x value game, but I don't see any reason it can't be tonight. Now, Beal is probably going to be the one that I'll avoid. 8,400 on FanDuel, so that's 42, which he has been at in, fuck, three straight. He's been 33, well, okay, two games under 40 in his last seven. I worry about the lack of threes. It's all about if he wants to dominate with the ball or not. I feel like he'll see more quality defense than Wall, so I'm comfortable leaving Beal out. Now, Ubre. This is one I want to look at. My I want to make sure that I'm not crazy. So, Ubre looks good. Porter looks good. Okay, I'm not crazy. I want to look at Porter first. 6,700 on FanDuel, 5,800 on DK. So on FanDuel, he needs 33. Um, we're, uh, with the assumption, obviously, that he's playing tonight. Uh, 33 is not a crazy number for him. But I'm going to look more at Ubre. 4,400 on FanDuel. 4,700 on DK. So I, I might pre greatly prefer him on FanDuel. Um, he'll need 22. I see no reason that can't happen. Um, I would definitely have less of him on DK, but I don't hate him on DK. But on FanDuel, at 4,400, that is a great... Like, having Ubre and... Giannis uh, would make a lot of sense. Okay, Mike Scott, Markeith Morris, you probably just want like a little bit of both of them, although Mike Scott is now more expensive than Morris on DK and on FanDuel. So with those prices, I think you can pass now. And Gortat, 4,500 on FanDuel, 
5,200 on DK, which is kind of a bummer. He needs 22 on FanDuel. Um, he's done that in three of his last four, including two 30-point games. Uh, you definitely want to fire him up in FanDuel. And, um, again, I'm okay with it on DK, but it's not the same sort of value. I wouldn't I wouldn't go, like, 0% on him, but, you know, I'd go... I'd want him in a couple lineups for FanDuel for sure. It just allows you to fit a bunch of other stuff in, you know, hard... You can go like a Harden and Giannis lineup if you go Gortat at center. Or AD and... What would be the best one? If you're looking cash on FanDuel... You know, something like, okay, Russ is going to be huge owned. Harden is going to be huge owned. So you could have, like, you know, Russ and Shabazz Napier, spoiler alert, Harden, AD, go Gortat at center. You, just, you could really go stars and scrubs. Get, like, Ryan Anderson in a power forward. Yeah. I could like that a lot. I'm making no progress in this video today. Whew. Tell me how long. Do, do, do. Nope. But a while. Rockets. Number one implied total, 115.25. 12 point, 11 and a half point favorites at home against the Clippers. Chris Paul out. Uh, Capella expected to be out. Um, they don't play anybody. Like They're just going to grind these dudes into the dirt. Um, I'd like to say that you don't have to worry at all about a blowout. The Rockets can beat them by 40. The Rockets could lose by 30 in this game because they just run out of gas and stop carrying. Like, there's no telling what happens here, but all I know is James Harden is going to look quite tasty. Um, yeah, it's hard to avoid this game. Harden's 12,000 on FanDuel, 11,5 on DK, but... I, you just he's going to have to do everything <laughs> like if you if the rockets are 12 point favorites in this game and have the highest implied total like you just have to assume that James Harden is going to have 30 10 and 10 or something so yeah I'm all over that uh this is going to be another game where you kind of got to stack everybody like they play you know, basically seven guys. Just run them into the ground. It's a shame this would have been a really interesting spot for Capella. I guess DJ, but... Yeah, I just I kind of just got to pick every <clears throat> everybody here. So Eric Gordon is... I'd rather only have Eric Gordon on FanDuel at 5,400. <clears throat> 5,900 is expensive. Like... I don't expect him to go well over 30. Like, even on a hot day, he just doesn't take enough shots. Yeah, like, I've got his ceiling at 41. So I'd say Eric Gordon is FanDuel only. Well, not only. Only is a bad word, but, you know, FanDuel preference. Um, Ariza, 6,100 on FanDuel, 5,500 on DK. Yeah, no, no issues there. Um, PJ Tucker, forty six and forty four. Look, you should just have a lot of parts of Houston. You have to look at Ryan Anderson, forty two hundred on Fanduel, um, forty four hundred on DK, and then Nene is thirty seven hundred on both. You know, again, this, these are value plays out the wazoo because they're just going to play so many minutes like if you think nene plays 23 minutes he almost has to get to value by default just like he played 26 minutes he got 14.7 fantasy points like he's just like it's not he's not going to sink you it's impossible but he could be the key to having like 30 at center for 3.7 so you gotta look at it uh, to the Clippers. Um, obviously, you know, all the main guys are still out. <sighs> no Blake. No Gallo. Um, Wesley Johnson is out as well. 
I can't imagine wanting too much out of this outside of maybe Lou Williams. I'll take a peek at Austin Rivers as well. Lou Williams, 6,800 on FanDuel, 7,200 on DK, so let's call it 35. Hasn't done it in the last two that he's played, but before that, you know, a couple 40-point games, you just, Lou Williams is an excellent play tonight. Just him and Harden going back and forth. Lou Williams trying to do his poor man's James Harden impression. Um... I don't really want to go after Teo at 5,000. Or Austin Rivers at 6. But I wouldn't have a problem with it. And then, like, I don't... I'm not a big Jamil Wilson guy, but I could... I understand that 3,700 on FanDuel or DK. You know, if you think he's going to play a couple of minutes, he should be able to provide 20 fantasy points. So, at the very least, I have to mark him down, but... I don't go crazy for it. And then DeAndre is basically needs 40, which he has not. Oh, yeah. I, well, I don't know what I'm saying there. He's done it three times in his last seven. All of his games were 30 or higher. Um, I mean, he should... If he can be on the floor, why doesn't... Like, he should feast, right? It's just Nene or, like, PJ Tucker... That should be a great, I mean, DeAndre should be in line for a big game. Go to Miami now. 104.25 uh, implied total, ninth on the night, hosting the Mavs, probably six-point favorites. This line isn't out. Assuming Drogic plays and Winslow plays, I'm not going to expect to see a lot here on either side of the coin. Nothing jumps off the page. We'll just look at Kelly Olenek, probably. Jordan Mickey. Olenek, 6,800 on FanDuel, 5,600 on DK. So don't play Kelly Olenek on FanDuel. Um, but Olenek needs 28 for value on DK. Uh, that, I'm, I'm okay with that. But other than that, I mean, if the guys are going to be back, I don't really want to make any moves to anyone in particular. Jordan Mickey at 4,000. Um, that's probably forcing it at this point. So I'm good on the heat. Go to Dallas, where I assume I'll be good across the board unless one of these guys um, just has one of those standout lines where the heat are really bad at something. I need to get one of those like helmets where you put two cans in it and just have a hose or like get a camel back just filled with coffee so I don't have to reach or do anything. Just make it super duper lazy. Okay. Alright, we want to look at Barnes. We want to look at Maxi. I don't even like. I, I've never even seen him play. I don't know what he looks like. I know what I picture. Um, let's, let me look him up. Just not watching a lot of Mavs games, you know. Okay, so he pretty much looks exactly like I expected him to look. Okay. Um, so the only guy that I'm going to look at here is Harrison Barnes, and I think that's a force, even if I do it. You know, 97.75 implied total. Second worst on the night. Th needs 33. He's been at that number three out of his last five. 
look if you want to have a piece of the Dallas game, I like I like Harrison Barnes. Um, that's the about the extent of it. Max he only played 19 minutes in the last one. Was that foul trouble? Fucking okay. What help are you? No, certainly not foul trouble. So we just played 19 minutes, like because they won by. Uh, yeah, I don't. Okay, so I'm not. I don't want any part of this Dallas game. I don't trust his minutes. He'd be worth a punt. It's best I could say. Bucks, 108.5 implied total, which would be fifth. They are five-point favorites hosting the Hornets. Um, you know who we're looking at here. It's uh, not much of a secret who the guys are. That, what, what am I doing that you play on the Bucks? So, Bucks. I hope nobody looks okay on the Hornets because I'm just tired of having the wrong dude on the Hornets. If I play Kemba, he's awful. If I play Dwight Howard, he's awful. If I play, I don't know. The only time, the only person I ever get right is Jeremy Lamb. Okay, so Giannis for sure. I don't, he, there's nobody on, nobody's going to give him any trouble on, uh, on the Hornets. What's his, what's his career like against the Hornets? Not amazing. Two games this year, though. Put up the 60 burger on them. I'm more than okay with it though. And then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be okay with Middleton. This might be an avoid Bledsoe one. Bledsoe is still basically just hovering around 70, whatever. How did he play in the first he probably wasn't there for the first two, so that's fine. How does he normally play? I don't normally care about this stuff, but I mean the Hornets are the same team every year, so. Okay, no thank you. What about Middleton? Wrong position. Okay, now we're talking. Yeah, it's a Chris Middleton night. I liked it before I saw it. 77, 74, yeah, I'm okay with it. It's a Middleton night. Brogdon, 4,900 or 4,700. I don't like it now with Snell officially healthy. Henson, 4,400 on DK. <clears throat> gotta, gotta at least take a look at that. I wouldn't want him on FanDuel. And that's probably it. Yeah. So we'll go to the Hornets now. 103.5 implied total, which would be 13th on the night. Ooh, who gets to the rack? Okay, yeah, this could be... Much in the same vein. This could be a big time Dwight Howard game. I'll entertain Marvin Williams if he's got a valuable salary. So I don't want any part of Kemba. So I'm sure he'll go off. I don't want any part of Batum. Now Lamb is interesting, especially at 4,900. 57 is probably a little bit out of the range that I would like, but I, he's been getting extra minutes. He's coming off that big 40-point game. Um, 
I'm actually okay with him on DK. I, I think he's a little too costly on FanDuel. But DK, 4,900. Shooting guard and small forward. It's just it's a way to fit in value in a couple different spots. Whoa, that should be DK. Um, Kaminsky now. Well, in GPPs, sure. Marvin Williams, 3,800 on FanDuel. 4,000 on DK. He's been playing short minutes, so I'm going to pass. And then Dwight, 8,300 on FanDuel, 76 on DK. So let's just say 40. Um, he's only done it twice in his last eight. A couple big 30-pointers. Yeah, I think I'm forcing it there. Not the best implied total either. Let's go to Oklahoma City. One of seven, seven, five implied total, sixth on the night. Pretty sure it's a heavy dose of Russ. Ooh, pop them threes. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard not to like Russ here. He's only at 11 4. That's a good price. I like a lot of the, I mean, I like. I like all the studs tonight, as weird as it sounds, because there's so much value everywhere that you can balance a lot of that. Yeah, it's hard not to. Um, I'm going to like Paul George, I think, too. <sighs> Paul George, 8,400 on FanDuel, 7,100 on DK. Okay, let's just get that in there now. Look, I like him on both sites, but he's like extra special on DraftKings. Mellow, 6,600 and 5,600. This is a trappy ass game. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't want Mellow on FanDuel, so I'll say this. Paul George looks great on both. Westbrook is great on both. Mellow is only DK. At 5,600, tie me up. Steven Adams is at 66. 500 ish. Um, that's one I'll avoid. Ooh, that's a fun little stack I didn't see coming. Atlanta. 97.25 implied total. 18th on the day. That would be 18th out of 18. They are not good. I hope that nothing looks good here so I can just avoid them. Paste. Gotta get one every every video. Not that this is gonna matter too much. All right, so basically it's Ilyasova and I don't know Prince or Bazemore, I guess. Okay, uh, Prince is fine on Fanduel fifty three hundred. That's twenty five. Yeah, I don't really want him on DK. Oh, fuck that. I'll copy it. Ilyasova is 4,900 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DK. Which would be, let's just say 25. I think he can get there. I think it's a good matchup. I want to have a little bit of them in GPP. Collins, 6,000 FanDuel, 5,000 DK. So he needs 30 on FanDuel, 25 on DK, but 30 for the 6x mark. He's hit 30 in two of his games back. Yeah, you got it. That's. I'm in. Especially on DK. Okay. Plus, 
I don't know what that means. Just creating notes. So when people inevitably ask what are the notes mean, I don't really know yet. Preferences, uh, lots of preferences on a site, but not negatives. I don't know. We'll, we'll make up some sort of scheme moving forward. Second to last game, late, late show, but we need to talk about it. It, it sucks that the Warriors-Lakers game is at 10.30. That's going to be a pain. But Portland, uh, four-point favorites at home against the Nuggets. That line could wiggle a bit. Dame Lillard out. So uh, Shabazz Napier is for sure um, needing to be owned but like it, a lot. Uh, he just sort of has to play a bundle. <laughs> And then um, it's going to be hard to not like McCollum. I'm really hoping that uh, I didn't see who they played. Nuggets, yeah. I'm really hoping that the Nuggets profile fits McCollum as well. Actually, if we're being honest, I hope it's a really anti-McCollum, and I can just fade him because he's going to be owned out the wazoo. Did I just copy the Nuggets? There's the drink. This is going to be interesting. I'm, uh, I'm almost anxious. What do we got? Okay, so it w we would have liked McCollum regardless. So yeah, CJ. Because he should get a hell of a boost running the team. 6,900 on FanDuel, 7,000 on DK. Um, Aminu, 5,700 on FanDuel, 4,700 on DK. He's a DK only guy for me. And then I think that you can use Pat Connaughton if you'd like. But that's probably a GPP thing. He's just going to get a chunk of minutes. I think Evan Turner is in play on DK. 3,800. He should probably handle some secondary, do some secondary ball handling on the second unit, maybe. 4,500 on Fandle's a little rich. Um. And then Nurkic, 6,800 Fandle, 6,400. DK going back to Denver narrative needs 34 I'm okay with that cool to the nugs we go um, expectation here is Gary Harris plays and Moutier plays. Uh, 102 implied total, which would be 15th. Whoa, which would be sneaky, not good. You wouldn't expect it, but I don't know, we'll see. Another bad copy. God, this video is running so long. I'm just rambling today. Denver is playing. Port. Sometimes it helps to jog the memory manually. Okay. So. Oh, man. Okay, so I like Gary Harris, but you can't trust it. Because of late, he's going to be questionable or a game time decision. Um, I like Barton the same way. I'm going to like a lot of this, but it's I don't. It's tricky. So Jokic, 8,300 on Fanduel, 74 on DK. Um, I'm in. It's a great spot for him. Trey Lyles, 4,400 and 4,600. Um, I think I'll probably get off the Trey Lyles bandwagon right now. 
now. Gary Harris is 65 and 62, so I think you got to ignore it. Barton is 65 and 59. He has not been playing the best in his last two, but he did have a 35-point game with everybody back, which would be enough for value. Um, it's just these last two. I'm fine with taking a look at Will Barton. And if you get lucky and have a couple shares of Will Barton and Gary Harris sits, you know, the shares appreciate. Last game, Warriors-Lakers. I think it's pretty hard to roster anybody on the Warriors that has been out lately just because of that late start. Uh, Warriors, 114.5 implied total, which would be second on the night. I, it, I can't imagine having the guts to take a lot of Draymond tonight. Again, closing out quite poorly. I mean, <clears throat> eleven six for I don't I don't need to see this. I know what I want. Um, so I don't have any interest in clay at seventy two. Um, it's really just Durant for me. Eleven five on Fanduel, eleven six on DK. Uh, I'm just I just like Durant, but I will say this. Of all of the studs that I have, Durant is at the bottom of the list for me. I'd rather have Russ, Giannis, Harden, and AD over Durant. In fact, I'm comfortable with fading Durant altogether. I'd rather have AD than Durant for sure. And small forward is the one spot that you don't. Like, you can make a choice, and I'd rather have Giannis, and I'd much rather have Paul George. But then again, I am a bit of a Paul George homer, so I don't think you could look at Draymond. I think there's too much risk there. Although, having a couple shares of him at DK at 7,400 would be a very smart proposition. Now, Lakers. We need to have this conversation. KCP, back. So, ignore Josh Hart and play KCP in that instance because he is underpriced. He's just underpriced. So Lonzo needs 37. I'm going to have a lot of the Lakers, I think. I like Lonzo. I'm not even attempting to type Contavious Caldwell Pope, but I like him. People are going to be chasing the shit out of Kyle Kuzma. I'm fine with that. 6,800 on FanDuel, 6,300 on DraftKings. Um, no reason to not like that. I like Julius Randle here. I don't. Ex I expect him to get minutes, uh, and he's underpriced, relatively speaking. So I'm totally cool with it. I don't care what happened in the last game. I will probably regret that. Definitely want to see a bunch or a couple Lakers in my lineup. So, but that is it. That is the short list. Let's, uh, let's throw it into the optimizer and see what sticks. So first up, we'll optimize FanDuel. Let's see how that shakes out. Every day I tell myself that I should update that macro. Every day I forget. Every day I copy that stuff and something's expanded and it puts a team or something in. <sighs> Let's try that again. That's gonna be a fun night. There's a ton to like. I'm excited to make some GPP lineups. Gonna be all over the place. Look at all that value I have at small forward today. Prince, Tucker, Turner, Ubre, Bullock, Johnson. 
so many low price guys at the exact same spot and you just kind of have to have a couple of all of them and hope you fit those pieces together the right way all right five percent randomness and dance Okay, so, yeah, I think Russ, f for FanDuel uh, cash, Russ and Napier almost assuredly will be a very chalky combo. Um, but I like almost all of this. All of those guys show up on that list. Westbrook, Napier, Harden, McCollum, Prince, Ubre, Anderson, Wilson, Jokic. Like, you could run, it's not even the optimal lineup. But... Yeah, it's one of the top ten. Yeah, I'm, I don't have as much interest in Brandon Ingram at 7,000. Um, so I would probably look to the next one. Russ, Napier, Drew, McCollum, Paul George. You know, oh, that's another Ingram lineup. I'm stupid. Ingram's in nine of these. Not a, not a huge on Ingram, but, you know, you, can, you could have a much worse lineup than going with this. A Lakers and Rockets stack with uh you know just value plays jammed in plus russ looks great this one i'm a little i can't even imagine what pops up for DraftKings here just because like because of positional weirdness like this can just be i have no idea how this shakes out there's gonna, it's just gonna be jamming guys in in all sorts of different spots. Va there's so much value on the board, like Mello or John Collins. Like, I don't. It's gonna be nuts. Alrighty. Yeah, look at all those colors. It's like a rainbow. Just what I expected, too. So then, Lonzo, Drew, George, Collins, Jokic, Napier, Mello, Kuzma. Love it. I'm going to love every single lineup I have tonight just because of where value is. It's going to be nuts. You're going to have to hit the stud correctly. One of AD, Giannis, Harden, Westbrook is going to bust and do put up 40. And one of them is going to put up 70. And if you can be the get the right avoidance of that, you're going to be good to go. I mean, that's every night in, in a way, but tonight in particular. Where, I mean, you can sort of do a Stars and Scrubs, but like this is a balanced lineup. That's everybody, nobody higher than seven. That's just how much value is out there tonight. Like, it's going to be nuts. Okay, that's it for me. I got stuff to do. I got to go to work yet. Um, so, you know, like the video if you like it, uh, like the video if you didn't, subscribe, um, follow me on Twitter, check out my Patreon, projections will be updated uh, on the website, um, I'll have them up again tomorrow, we'll have another video tomorrow, we get to take the day off on Christmas Eve, no, no NBA games, um, but we will be back um, Christmas morning for a video, um, at the end of the video I'm going to have... Um, a link for a tournament on DraftKings and FanDuel. Um, a little thank you to everybody that watches. We'll do a, a, a tiny free roll on both of them. So pay attention to that, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.